uh, we provide all of the sound, lights, and video, and uh, sometimes some decor equipment that helps um, the conference come together in a big exhibition hall, turn it into home for several days in an atmosphere that's going to be conducive to conversation, working through the different business aspects, as well as, um, I would say, most importantly, having some worship times together. And uh, we, we help with the communication, both from those on stage, uh, communicating the message, inviting people to participate, and uh, like go all the way to the dozen microphones out with the, uh, the, the congregation that's gathered. We, we love the fact that uh, the planning starts early and what the vision is is something we very much like to be involved in and finding out what, you know, what the vision is for the conference, um, what the stage is going to look like and uh, we, we, I think this year we met uh, just after Christmas actually with the new worship director this year and uh, we sat, went out for coffee, sat down with uh, Justin McIlvaney who's our project manager for this event and we sat down just bounce some ideas around and then we go away and come back a month later and uh, to start from a nuts and bolts standpoint how this might come together and then the technology you know, we've got like four screens, four big screens in the, in the general session, uh, big PA and there's you know, the various musical groups are going to be coming to be a part of this so it, it all has to be worked through but it's ultimately what is the goal for the year, what is the vision and uh, how can we help support that. Um, for the general session only uh, we have a crew of nine technicians in the in the hall all the way from uh, the technical director, uh, we've got three camera ops in there, two audio guys, video record, web streaming, uh, video switching, just um, a, a large crew there and then on top of that and at the same time there are multiple sessions going, breakout sessions, clergy sessions and uh, just, yeah, I think all in all, not counting myself, I think it was a crew of 12 this year at the peak. Yeah, and we do have equipment from here within the event centre on the event, also from our branch office in Des Moines, but a lot of the equipment we ship in from our, our main office in Indianapolis, and we are uh, a national company, so for the larger events, we like to, this, this event is two semis worth of equipment, raw from out of town in conjunction with equipment here, and then we also keep, uh, we like to keep a lot of our inventory locally as backup for it because uh, you, you don't know what you don't know until you know it. Setup started on Tuesday and we started pre-rigging some points and, um, and hung a whole load of thrust and then from there it just comes in and we, we work very closely. Uh, we are in-house at the Iowa Event Centre as part of the team here and um, we work very closely with the operations department, the event managers, the catering folks, because everything has to go in order. You, know, you can't put the stage in until you've got your truss in, you can't put the tables in until you've got your lights focused, all of that stuff, but we've, we've been here for 13 years and uh, working on this event since 2010 when it first came in. So uh, yeah, I'd like to think we've got it down to a fine craft. At the same time, the Iowa United Methodist Conference is taking place. Uh, our crew from our main office in Indianapolis is actually also working on the Indiana United Methodist State Conference at the same time.